What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, the one and only. Okay. Now, if you don't know me, if you're new, I know there's a lot of new people. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. And what I do here is I record occult content. I make videos in regards to the occult. And I break them down to a I break down these occult principles to a practical level so that you can simply use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results with what it is that I teach simply by applying your observation and awareness. Very simple to do, okay? Now, uh, as I said, uh, my name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I'm going to give you a little bit of an understanding of who I am because that is obviously something that's important to understand when you're learning from somebody because you obviously do not want to be learning from somebody that says and claims they're a dictator, okay? I'm Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I'm fully initiated in the entire Kabbalistic tree, front and back. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck, also connected to the Kabbalistic tree. And I'm also study when it comes to planetary energies, indirect association with astrology. Okay. So what is the topic of our today's video uh, for today? Okay. Well, I'm going to be talking about a topic that has been mentioned uh, in regards to uh, Kenneth Grant and a lot of his literature coming from the OTO. And this is personally something that I've been applying myself even before I even read Kenneth Grant's literature. So this is something that obviously has uh, a lot of validity to it. This is something that I've used throughout my occult initiatory journey. And I have found this to be extremely important to apply in my real life. And this is what the video is going to be on. So the topic is the death posture. What exactly is the death posture? Now, some of you who study occult literature, specifically Kenneth Grant's, you're, you will have heard of that term before, the death posture. Okay, so if you want to know, one, a little bit more about what the death posture is and how important it is, this is your video, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's go into it. So for those of you who have been studying for my YouTube channel for some time now, you know me. You have heard me speak very highly and very profoundly about certain types of concepts in regards to sitting in silence. Okay, for anyone that knows me, you have heard me say that before. How important is it to actually take at least 30 minutes out of your day? I don't care what you do. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you thought. I speak about how important it is to sit in silence for at least 30 minutes a day at a minimum, okay? And I tell you that while you're sitting in silence, you don't want to have a phone. You don't want to have any distractions, preferably. You want to be in a place that's secluded to yourself, preferably in a darker room. The less light, the better. But I understand things happen. Um, you don't want to be listening to music. You want complete silence. And typically, the way that I do this practice is I lay on my bed. Okay, I just lay on my bed, I stare at the ceiling, and I get into complete silence. Okay, so once again, for those of you that have studied from me before, you have clearly heard me speak about this subject. And you have clearly heard me mention that this is one of, first of all, the most simple practices and simple things that you could possibly do. I mean, you're literally doing nothing. That's how simple it is. But although it sounds simple, and although it is simple, it is actually extremely challenging to do because it's extremely uncomfortable, 
Okay. Now I have attributed sitting in silence in my own life to something that is essential and necessary to get to certain levels of occult self-development and power. And when I say this, I want you, if you're, if you're taking notes right now, I want you to write that down. Sitting in silence is necessary to attribute or excuse me, to gain self-development and occult power, okay? Because what is sitting in silence, okay? Sitting in silence is sitting with your unconscious and your subconscious and your conscious awareness has no choice but to observe what is unknown to you, which is buried in your unconscious and subconscious. So this connects us right into the death posture. So the once again, the funny thing is, is before I even studied Kenneth Grant's literature, which by the way, I love his literature. I think Kenneth Grant has great literature. There's obviously things that I don't agree with in regards to Kenneth Grant and how he approached the occult field. And obviously the same with Aleister Crowley and any occultist for that matter. Okay. It doesn't matter who you are. And that's natural. There are going to be things that you listening to this now, there are going to be things that I say that you agree with, that I teach you. And there are going to be things that you may not agree with that may not serve you the same way that they serve me. And this is something you always want to know. And you always want to understand when you are learning from another person, okay? So when it comes to Kenneth Grant, were there things that I disagreed with? Were there things that I think he messed up on? Absolutely. But also, were there things that he hit right on the nail? And were there things that he spoke about and taught and written down in his, in his uh, books and literature that are extremely important to understand and valuable? Absolutely, okay? So I, I really do uh, gravitate towards out of... Most of the occultists, uh, in regards to different occult orders, I typically gravitate more so towards Kenneth Grant. Okay. And obviously, with Kenneth Grant's work and the OTO, this is some of the work that not only I gravitate to, but some of the higher level occultists in the real world today gravitate to. Because Kenneth Grant speaks a lot about the darker side of spiritual self development, which a lot of other orders tend to leave out. Okay, so when it comes to the Illuminati, the Illuminati is using Kenneth Grant's work and literature. They're using uh, the OTO and they're using Freemasonry, which is directly connected to the OTO. Okay, so long story short, there's this concept that is talked about within uh, Kenneth Grant's literature, and you can find this uh, mentioned in the book The Night Side of Eden by Kenneth Grant. Um, I believe there, there might be an entire chapter that is dedicated to it. If not, you will definitely see mention of that word and what it represents. But long story short, the death posture is literally extremely similar to what I say when I say sitting in silence. Okay, This is just a different word to describe this same process. So obviously, I'm not the only person out here who has been applying this for me, this intuitive technique of learning how to absorb power into my own energy field. Okay, so the death posture pl primarily, I like the name too. I like the name the death posture because it really is like that. When you are applying the death posture, what you're doing is you are consciously putting yourself in a position where then you are ready, willing, and able to start dying to yourself. Okay, hence, the death posture, okay? So a great way to apply the death posture is by putting yourself in a place where you have no distractions, primarily where there's a darker room, okay? And you're going to definitely want to get yourself into a physical, oftentimes if you really want to take it to that level, a physical position where it almost feels like you're dying. So for example, when you look at the Egyptians and how they wrapped up mummies, they would have the arms oftentimes wrapped on the chest like this. I don't know if you can see, but like this. So applying the death posture, it, from another perspective, you could lay down on your bed in darkness if you have the ability to, 
no music, no phone, no anything. Cross your arms over your chest like a like a mummy, like a dead person. And then you just sit there. Okay? Primarily you're going to find something on your ceiling that you can just stare at, that you can gaze at. And you're going to allow everything that is unconscious, everything that is subconscious to boil and to spin itself up to the surface of your conscious mind. Now, what this is naturally going to do is this is going to kill your sense of self-importance. This is going to start killing your ego. Okay, why? Because your ego can only exist and only survive when it has something objective to grasp onto. When it has something it can hold on to and identify. Okay, the ego is built from objective thinking. Okay. So when you assume the death posture, when you're sitting in silence, as I like to call it, you are now consciously allowing yourself to start accessing your unconscious and your subconscious with the realization that it's going to be painful to your ego, that it's going to be painful to your sense of self-importance. Because when you assume the death posture, you're going to want to move. You're going to want to move back and forth. You're going to want to check your phone. You're going to want to see what your friend's doing. Things are going to come up. Things are going to be uncomfortable. Have you ever been through a traumatic experience in your life? If you're listening to this, I know you have because you're no different than every than every other human being on the planet. Okay, so guess what? Those traumatic experiences are buried in your unconscious and your subconscious and they will eventually come to the surface when you assume that state of complete silence, also known as the death posture. So when that happens, you're forced to feel. You're forced to feel. Let me say that again. You are forced to feel what's been buried in your unconscious and subconscious. Okay? And when you feel those emotions, which are energies in motion, that's obviously not a fun thing to do. It's, it's painful. It's uncomfortable. Energies in motion connected to things you've been through in your past, like a traumatic experience, that's a chaotic, misunderstood energy in motion, which is going to naturally uh, feel very uncomfortable once you allow yourself to process it. Okay, so the ego, the sense of self-importance will say, I'm above it, I'm beyond it, I don't want to feel it, I've moved past it. But your unconscious and your subconscious being recognizes the only way you can become your most powerful self is once you absorb what you're running away from. Okay, and not everyone's going to tell you that. That's why the entire spiritual community and occult community is so focused on light working, chakra working. Raising your vibration. Let's banish things. Let's remove negative energy. As if a battery doesn't have a negative and a positive charge to create power. It's almost as if the human race has been trained to think not only linearly, but they've been trained to think it's good versus evil. It's positive versus negative. It's almost like this has been programmed and indoctrinated in the multiverse that we all live in. And it has, okay, obviously. So when it comes to assuming the death posture, sitting in silence, you are allowing yourself to die. You are consciously allowing yourself to die to all the different attributes and aspects of your own energetic being, of your own emotional being, of your own mental and even physical being that are no longer serving you, okay? This is why it's called the death posture. Now this process, as I mentioned, is excruciatingly painful, especially when you're new to it. But this is how you step into power. This is how you step into understanding, that's a key word, understanding who and what you truly are, energetically speaking. and if. Just if, which is true, the universe itself consists more so of dark energy, 
96% of dark energy, if you pull up a graph of the universe, then maybe the unconscious subconscious, which is that dark energy aspect of your own being, is an important reservoir of energy that you need to embrace and tap into to maintain life on this planet or to even be able to create a life that you truly want to live and get in touch with your soul, which is what? Feminine in nature, dark in nature, okay? And people say, no, the soul is light, the soul is light. Well, guess what? Darkness, dark energy is a different type of light. You fucking idiot, okay? People forget that. They forget that dark energy is light. It's a different type of light. It's not the light you've been told. It's not the light your guru told you, but it's light. So when it comes to the science of it, the science doesn't give a fuck if you're coming from a moralistic perspective. It is what it is. One plus one is going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. You don't have to agree with it, but when it equals it, don't get upset. Okay? Don't get mad when I add one plus one. I don't get three. Okay? So once again, the, the value of assuming the death posture is that you are then attuning yourself to the more so universe B aspects of reality itself. You're, you're starting to get more so in touch with the subjective nature of reality and most importantly, of yourself. You're giving yourself time to recognize you don't consciously know everything. And that's healthy and that's important to step into higher levels of self-development and spiritual evolutionary power. Once you're aware you have an unconscious and a subconscious and that it's constantly streamlining you new levels of awareness, new perspectives, new knowledge, new wisdom, new understanding, then you freely allow yourself to embrace the unknown, knowing that the unknown can eventually become known and it's a continuous it's a continual process of allowing yourself to receive from the unknown this is why when it comes to the anuma alish what was the most powerful entity okay for those of you that, for those of you that study the anuma alish okay which was basically the creation of everything stemming all the way back to the Anunnaki, taking it back to alien levels of consciousness, what was the beginning force that started to create things? Okay. Now, obviously, everything comes from source. We're all connected to source. Source represents literally everything and nothing. There is some form of source that exists that connects all of us. And we can be the source. We can uh, attune ourselves to that. Okay. But that's important to understand. But from that Enuma Elish perspective, what created everything? It was Tiamat, the black dragon that has many different names. You have Tiamat, you have Amalek, you have Hecate, you have Lilith, okay? All dark, feminine, chaotic energies, okay? So, you know, with Tiamat, you have this dark, chaotic force that created literally everything that we know in regards to the gods and all the different hierarchies of the gods of the gods now obviously when it comes to that religious perspective or the myth mythological perspective of the anuma elish and tiamat and all these other things uh tiamat was eventually villainized okay you have tiamat absu and kingu tiamat was eventually villainized what if that wasn't the true story? What if Tiamat still is the ultimate feminine chaotic power that then brought form to reality? Okay, which means it wasn't just chaos. It had a evolutionary purpose, a source purpose behind its chaotic nature. And all I'm trying to do here is show the importance of the unconscious and the subconscious within your being, within my being. That would be the black dragon aspect of your own being. It would be the Tiamat that exists as you. But if we live in a world 
that thinks more so from that linear, objective, analytical, intellectual perspective, then it's easy to program people to fight positive against negative and have them pick sides. Then for people like me, it's much easier to use psychic warfare on those fucking idiots. So I'm all for it. I'm not here trying to change the game. I get power when I use dark energy on people that are completely unaware. That's okay for me. I'm not here to change minds. But obviously, if you're coming to my YouTube channel and you're here for evolutionary purposes, that's why I do what I do because I'm here to give you an opportunity. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not going to force feed you anything. I could care less if you go left. I could care less if you go right. I will give you the opportunity to make your own choice. But clearly, we can see that dying to your sense of self-importance and your ego naturally attunes you to your unconscious and your subconscious, which is your feminine energetic nature, which is also interesting because, I mean, Kenneth Grant's entire teachings were based around Typhon, the feminine uh, dragon-like force, which is that same energetic concept as Tiamat, the same energetic concept as Amalek. It's the same reason I have a black dragon tattooed on the inner arm of myself. Before I even knew about Tiamat, before I even knew about Amalek, before I even knew about Hecate and Typhon, it's intuitive. It's feminine. Okay. And this is all energetic concepts that you have to embrace with experience and sitting in silence. Assuming the death posture helps tune you into that darker aspect of your own being, that negative polarity of your own being, which is not evil and is not bad, is just a different form of light that has been demonized in the real world. So if you want to take advantage of it, embrace it. Okay? I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the thumbs up. Okay? If you think this content has offered you value, make sure you come down here and you hit that notification bell because obviously you do not want to miss out when I post content like this, okay? And also come down here if you have not yet hit the subscribe button and you continuously listen to my YouTube content, then you are absolutely out of your mind. So come down here right now, grasp onto your sanity and hit the subscribe button, okay? Hit the subscribe button. Okay. Now also, if you feel like this content or any of my YouTube content is valuable to anyone that you may know, you have my full permission to copy and paste this link and send it out to family, friends, social media platforms, etc. Okay? The purpose is and my intent is to spread this content like a wildfire. And Absolutely, my YouTube channel has been exponentially growing. Okay, so definitely make sure you take advantage of it and do it. Okay, now if you would like to add me on social media, I have my Instagram right here, which I highly recommend you take advantage of. It says Jer, J E R underscore 477. Very simple to type. Add me on Instagram. You're going to see I post unique things, and you will also get heads up of when I'm going live on YouTube, hours before I go live just to give you an extra heads up, all on Instagram stories, okay? So go ahead and add me on Instagram. Also, if you would like to gain access to a private Facebook community, you go to the YouTube description, uh, excuse me, the YouTube description drop down right here. Scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see there's a post that says Facebook community. You click that post, then you're gonna see another pin post which will take you to my private Facebook group which already has 300 plus members, is starting to get pretty active and you very likely will find yourself amongst a group of individuals that are like-minded as yourself. So definitely make sure you look into that if you're interested, okay? Now let's take it to the most important link that is within my YouTube description as we speak. The very first link in this YouTube drop down description, it is going to say Patreon. You cannot miss it. Okay. This is going to take you obviously to my Patreon, which has tons of exclusive content that is not 
on my public YouTube channel, okay? At this point, literally, my Patreon is almost like a secondary YouTube channel with very advanced, very profound, and life-changing content and information, okay? You gain access to blog posts where I teach about certain types of occult concepts, perspectives, and ideas that you won't even read in high-level occult literature. Very profound things that I apply in my data in my day-to-day -day life and get real results with. You're going to find blog posts that talk about supernatural spirits and where I give information that you probably have not heard or uh, received anywhere else. It ranges from live streams that I do on YouTube and then remove from YouTube once it's finished and upload to the Patreon members so that they can re-watch it as many times as they want and have access to all of them. Uh, it ranges from information on Kabbalah. So when it comes to the tree of life and the tree of death, I break down all of those Kabbalistic spheres. Very valuable. Okay. And then when you get to tier three and up, you then have access to a magic training course where on camera I am demonstrating for you exactly how to go through that process of developing the most psychic power that you possibly can. Okay, so I teach you what tools you need to be successful, and I teach you how to energetically link yourself to those tools, okay? So we start with invoking all of the dead magicians that I could find uh, access to. So I looked up all the dead magicians, and we use certain types of occult concepts and principles to take their power. We first go through all the dead magicians, then we use the same concept for the angelic forces, all the angels, and then we do the same thing for the demons, the Ars Goetic demons, taking all of their power, energy, and attributes. And then at the very end, I teach you how to perform a low magic spell, where at the end of me teaching you how to perform it, I demonstrate it and show you the real life results that it produced in real time. Okay, I show you the proof, okay? So that's all for tier three. Very valuable. If you're interested, look into it. Now for tier four, tier four has access to everything, but primarily tier four is what I call the Universe B Vampire Service, which I perform on the 29th of every single month that has a 29th. And obviously, this is a very profound service. This is the only service that I offer where I actually perform a certain type of occult, ritualistic, uh, magic on another person. Okay. Um, this is the most popular tier of my Patreon for many different reasons. And what I do is I energetically turn you into a universe B vampire. So what this means is that I change your energetic structure to be able to pull in and consume chaos in the environment around you and within yourself to then over time increase your energy field, to increase your power, which then leads you to uh, higher levels of awareness and more profound levels of control over your reality, okay? All accessible as a top tier, tier four, universe B vampire, okay? So if that's something you're interested in and you want to take advantage of it, look into the Patreon link below, first link in the YouTube description. Now, with that being said, I would love to give a special shout out to all of the Patreon members that are here right now, that are listening, okay? Huge shout out to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all of you for taking your knowledge and your wisdom and your understanding to that other side, okay? Huge shout out to all of you. Now, this is the second link that I would like to take your awareness to. The second link in the YouTube description, can't miss it, this is where you can book a tarot card reading with me, okay? Now, on this tarot card reading, this is something that you probably have never seen or heard of before, I can literally pinpoint where you are in regards to the Kabbalistic tree of life, okay? In regards to your own initiatory placement on that tree itself. So a lot of people don't know that the Kabbalistic tree itself is a representation of the multiverse that we all live in. So what this means 
is that unconsciously and subconsciously, most people are making progress through that Kabbalistic tree. They just don't know about the Kabbalistic tree and they just don't know where they're located. So being a professional occultist who understands these things and understands these energetic concepts, I can pinpoint where you are, tell you what you're experiencing, why you're experiencing it, and then give you information and advice of what to expect moving into your near and long-term future. Okay. So far for the time frame that the service has been out, I've done well over 200 readings. I get tons of amazing feedback. I mean, sometimes it amazes me when I do these readings. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to leave it there. If you want to take advantage of it, second link in the YouTube description. Okay, now we're going to go into the third link. If you drop down in the YouTube description, the third link down, this is where you can become a YouTube member. What does that mean when you become a YouTube member? When you are a YouTube member, you now have access to what I call the Psychic Warfare Program using emojis. Okay, so I have personally designed specific emojis that can be used in a psychic warfare manner. So what this means is that you can use these specific emojis in a certain type of configuration to cause psychic damage to a target of your choice, okay? If you wanna educate yourself a little bit more about what I'm speaking about, I have a public YouTube video that is designed to do so. If you go to my YouTube videos and you scroll down through my channel, you will come across a YouTube video that is in parentheses, members only, followed by Psychic Warfare Program. If you want to gain some more clarity on how this functions, watch that video, okay? Now also, as you become a YouTube member, not only do you have access to the Psychic Warfare Emoji Program, but whenever I do live streams and you come into the live stream, you have a special badge next to your name. And whenever I see that, I will give you a special shout out. And you will have access for as long as you're a member, a YouTube member, you have access to leaving a question every single month uh, while I'm doing the live streams that appears in the exact same format as a super chat. And I will cover it in the exact same way where it will guarantee get covered and it will get covered in the most depth when I'm in the live streams. Okay. All accessible once you become a YouTube member, third link in the YouTube description, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are. And don't forget to sit in silence. Don't forget to apply the death posture. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.